I need some. I need a good old fashioned, old school meme to show you guys. This um, this disappeared for like years, and now it's famous. Like I think a lot of people know what this is. But um, in case you're new, in case you're like a child, or rather you're 18 years old and you just turned 18 and you were eight when Gamergate happened, literally. This is Mount Cringemore. A long time ago, there were a bunch of nerds who were upset about video games. Specifically, um, they were upset that games journalists, because back in the day, back in 2014 when this happened, uh, people still took, took journalists seriously. Even people who were young and maybe a little bit more conservative leaning, they took journalists seriously. So when they discovered that very bad games were getting very good reviews in jur journalism or uh, in video game press, uh, they looked into it a little bit and they decided that there must be something going on. And as it turns out, it was true. A woman named Zoe Quinn, also known as Chelsea Falkenberg, uh, she had slept with five different men, the five guys. And these men then went on to write very favorable um, reviews of her independently developed game called Depression Quest, which was literally just a slideshow. It was no, not a game. There was some decision making, but like, it, uh, to be 100% accurate, it was a game that could be played on Microsoft PowerPoint. It was not a actual game. Uh, so when this started um, getting out and it was factually accurate and it was true, uh, the games press did not um, oust these journalists who had slept with a woman in exchange for reviews. They rallied around. They called it a conspiracy theory. They called it a far right wing misogynistic harassment campaign. And to be 100% clear, they won. All these people, um, I'll go from left to right. Uh, it is Sargon of Akkad, a.k.a. Carl Benjamin, Milo Yiannopoulos, um, Adam B Baldwin, I remember that this time, uh, Medecker, and then Ethan Ralph, the five, as it says here in the comic, the five great men who helped save Western civilization. Uh, they actually lost, to be 100% honest. The people involved in Gamergate on the opposition side were called the SJWs, and there were people like Brianna Wu, um, I mentioned Zoe Quinn, then Nina Zarkeesian. And they literally went to the United Nations. They were invited by the United Nations to give a speech about female harassment online. Um, and the many other men and women involved in this on the left side uh, secured the reins of Wikipedia. They installed new policies on Wikipedia, such as the living autobiography um, standard, which means that any page about any organization or any person um, on Wikipedia, if you edit that page using a VPN, you're automatically banned. You're permanently automatically banned from Wikipedia as a whole. Your dis uh, revisions are edited. There's specific guidance that are top-down controlled on Wikipedia. So you can't edit anything about uh, an actual topic that's not like purely scientific unless you have explicit authorization from the gayest, most retarded faggots that have ever lived. Um, that, that was the result of Gamergate. Um, Gamergate has been described now retroactively as like an attempt to murder women. Jace Connors crashing his mother's Prius and then doing a rant um, has been used as evidence that they were literally trying to drive to Brianna Wu's house in Massachusetts and, and murder him in cold blood. Uh, they basically have gotten the free reins to say whatever the fuck they want. Uh, and things like this are now cringe because all these people hate each other. Uh, to be 100% honest. <laughs> um, yeah, me, uh, Milo is like a homosexual. Um, Ralph is obviously Ralph. Medicare's dying of AIDS. And Sargon is like playing with toys or some shit now. I don't know what he does.